Hey y'all, Big Tim here. Thanks for tuning in for the 10th edition of the Truth Behind the Trophy series. This one comes to you from 2014 Green River Lake, site of the 2014 Kentucky Bass Federation State Championship. So I've fished Green River a lot, and I've never done well, particularly later in the year like October, which is when this was. I believe it was October 19th and 20th, but I'm not 100% certain on that. But definitely middle to late October. And uh, like I said, I've never done well there. As much as I've fished Green River, um, I've just never done well there. I've had many KBF state championships there. Uh, our club had gone there a bunch, and I just never could figure it out. It was always just a difficult place for me. It, it wasn't conducive to my shallow water style for the most part. Most of the guys are going to catch them deeper, or, you know, look into some top water bites here and there, and it's just not me. But this time was different. I don't know if we'd had some hurricanes or what, but we had a lot of rain, so the, the lake was up. And when I got down there and I saw the lake was in some of the bushes, man, was I excited. I thought, this is going to be my baby. So, you know, I did some practice, hit some pockets, some backs of creeks, and caught a few fish. I thought I had a pretty good idea what I needed to do. So on the first day of the tournament, that's what I'm doing, man. I run to the back of one of my favorite creeks and uh, start flipping. Everything's looking beautiful. I got shad everywhere. I've got water in the bushes. I've got fairly clear water. I've got water that's not too hot, not too cold. I mean, everything looks perfect. Every now and again, you can see a fish bust over here and a fish bust over there. I can't get any of them to bite. Nothing. So I flip around through there and throw a spinner bait, throw a top water. Nothing's really happening. And then, oh, I have a little stomach distress. Now, what I forgot to tell you was I was almost late to blast off because I had to run down from the restroom because, like I said, I was having stomach distress. I don't know if something I'd eaten wasn't agreeing with me or what. So on the way out, I decided we need to pull up on the bank. I know it's not a great subject to talk about, but everybody does it. I do it too. I hate it. So after that, I was just rumbling the rest of the day. So I go up and I'm fishing up um, by one of the marinas and uh, fishing around there. And I catch a couple small fish there. But meanwhile, I'm looking down at my electronics and off the side of one of the points there by the marina, I see what looks to be some really big fish. And at first I thought they must be musky because Green River's got a lot of musky in it. And I cast it to him. I put a jig down to him. I put a brush, brush hog down to him. I think I even put a shaky head down to him. I could not get any of them to bite. I thought, well, okay, no big deal. So on the way out by the marina, I thought, well, better stop in here. There's the old distress again. So I had to go up to the bank again. At least this time I had a marina and a real restroom to go to. That was nice. Going in the woods just ain't fun for me. So I ended up, the tournament, I scrambled around, was able to catch a, a limit, but that limit weighed a whopping 6.38. I mean, very tiny little limit. And uh, I actually thought I was going to do pretty good because I figured it was really tough for me. It was going to be tough for everybody, but that wasn't the case. Uh, the guy that was leading the tournament, I think he had either had 22 or 24 pounds. I think he had 24. And second place had 22. And uh, I know both those guys, those are shallow water guys. One's a jig guy, another one's a spinnerbait guy. So I was really miffed by the fact that I missed my bite. I don't know how I did it. I don't know where they went. All I know is I missed it. They had a special little thing going. But I was way down in the standings with my six pounds. You know, I was in 19th place. So, you know, go back to the hotel, relax, change baits, all this other stuff. On day two, I wake up and I'm, I'm rumbling. And today, like I said before, this time the KBF didn't always have a lot of co-anglers. So it's day two of the tournament, and I'm actually fishing by myself. I thought this is pretty good considering the stomach trouble I've been having here recently. 
So I decide what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay close to that marina. So I go back there and I catch a couple small fish in the area that I had fished prior. I think I had a, a little one pound fish and I had a little two. So I go back over where I saw those fish on the graph and I don't see anything anymore. I'm casting a jig. I cast in there and, you know, all of a sudden I feel it get bit and set the hook. And it's a small fish. It's not even a keeper. It's a little 10 incher. And I thought, well, what's going on here? So the next cast I cast in with that little jig and I let sink down a little further and pull it further out and deeper off that point. And all of a sudden, dink, I set the hook and it was on. I thought, oh, here we go. I got me a muskie. I've fished down here all these years and I've caught them with crankbaits and everything else, but I've never caught one on jig until now. Well, I'm fighting this thing and it's fighting like the devil. I finally get it up there and it's a nice bass. In fact, I think it's, again, we're talking about that personal best. I think it's my personal best. I'm pretty sure this sucker is going to be well over seven pounds. So I'm able to reach down and limp it and get it in the boat. And I'm just ecstatic. Throw it in the live well. I'm ready to go fish some more. But my belly, I guess all of that activity got me stirred up again. So back up to the marina we go. I was in there for about 10 or 15 minutes and walking out. Ready to go fishing. And it hits again. So I got to walk back in. I don't know what was wrong with me. So I actually do know what it is. I finally went to the doctor later on in the year and found out that um, I got diagnosed with Crohn's disease. I'm still on the medicine for it now. Um, and I, I, when I found out about that, I was so aggravated because, you know, I'm not one to, I'm not a germaphobe. However, there's one thing I don't care for, particularly uh, where I work, is, is shaking hands. And I remember shaking the guy's hand and afterwards I was like, ugh. I got to go wash off. And uh, most of the time I can do just about anything. I can go out and work in the dirt. I can, you know, be fishing and whatever. And I don't feel like I need to wash my hands unless I can come in contact with other humans. Then I've got to wash my hands. That's why if you ever see me, I'm not one for shaking hands. A lot of times I'll give you a fist bump. That's about it. But um, yeah, so we found out that was Crohn's disease. Anyway, after spending the time there at the, uh, marina finally get back in the boat and like i said i've got a six and i've got a one pounder and i've got a two pounder so i'm pretty happy about this sit back down get all relaxed make another cast in that little spot think have a four pounder this time man am i really excited this is awesome get him in the boat kind of relax a minute get my composure Cast that little jig in there another time. Bam, get bit again. Set the hook, I'm bringing it up. And this one's a three pounder. And I lost it because I was trying to swing it in. But uh, I guess somehow or another, he was able to, sw to spit that jig, which is unusual. I generally don't lose anything uh, on a single hook, like a spinner bait or a jig or soft plastic. But this one did swing off or did come unbuttoned while I was swinging him in. And I had him all the way out of the water too. That's the heartbreaker. So I would have had another three pounds. But when I go back in, I ended up, i am got four fish. And i um, pretty excited about it. I've got four fish that weigh 13 pounds. And um, turns out the guys that were leading on the first day didn't catch anything. So I finished that day First place for that day. For the overall tournament, I made such a comeback. I jumped from 19th into 5th. I weighed a total of 19 pounds and uh, some change. A 1940 or something like that. So to jump from 19th to 5th was big. And like I said, I don't have a trophy for this one. But the trophy is there, up there for that. Because I really didn't give up. Uh, even though I had a lot of adversity going for me that day. Um, and uh, that's one of my favorite trips, one of my favorite tournaments. Had a lot of fun. That big fish that I caught, 6.09. I still could not get over the six and a quarter mark. Not only that, 
I still don't think I've ever won big fish in any of these state championships or anything like that. I had to share big fish with this. Another guy had one that was exactly 6.09. So not only can I not get over that 6.25, six and a quarter, I can't win big fish. I don't know why, just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. But hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a little gross to talk about, but things happen. And it's one of my favorite memories. So no matter what happens to you, make sure that you're enjoying yourself out fishing and don't give up. So until next time, we'll see you.